Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Moon Outdoors. Oh man, oh man, back on the water. Back on my home water, Sonoma Coast. Uh, I mentioned last time that uh, the rockfish link cut season uh, might be delayed, um, most likely. Um, somehow, uh, it's gonna be shortened. So I think uh, they're talking about delaying it a little bit. Um, they might still open up in April, but uh, in April to July, uh, they might only open up deep water, like 300 feet and deeper. Uh, pretty much almost everywhere in NorCal, getting to 300 feet of water, that's pretty, pretty far away, except for a couple areas. So, I wanted to get my uh, rockfish link up. Uh, before the season closes uh, because of the uh, reopening of a dungeon this season I'll probably alternate between this place and the, uh, the dungeon -ness. I got two rods here just like last time I got PC for Alios spinning rod and PC for Alios casting rod for the spinning wheel I'm using PC for Aloe X and for the casting wheel uh, my workhorse PC for Alios casting wheel this reel is awesome. Uh, this is the best reel that a $100 can buy. Actually cheaper because I'll have a 15% discount code in the description. So you can get this for $85. Okay, let's get started. Oh, let me show you guys something. So a while back, I dropped my tackle box while grabbing it from the storage area, a little hatch. I had a lot of weight in it, it was heavy, my hands were wet, it was slippery, so I dropped it. Oh, I'm drifting. I need a net. And it sunk to the bottom fairly quickly before I can get rich. So maybe they saw me dropping it, or maybe they saw me using a Prego spaghetti jar as a tackle box. Um, this is great because it's free, first of all, and it's waterproof. However, the opening is not so big, so it's great, really, really good for carrying weights. But if you're carrying a jig head or other stuff, there's no way for you to organize it. So there's a downfall. So Runker or Ronko actually sent me a couple of the uh, their waterproof tackle boxes. This is a uh, medium. Um, it's got the 3600 uh, tackle box footprint, and this is extra large. It's got the 3700 tackle box footprint with the deeper tackle box. So uh, this is my first time using it, so I'm gonna try it out. You got four latches here. And you open it up. I got all the swim baits, Branson bait, uh, sea slug, Branson bait, uh, swim bait, uh, sleeo, weights, jig heads. Uh, it's, it's pretty heavy right now. So let's see uh, this thing floats. Oh, yeah, look at that. It floats. I'm gonna dip it in the water a couple times and see if it's really waterproof. Yeah, waterproof. Yeah, so they sent me one of these and one of these for me to test out. So far so good. So here I got my liters, uh, high and low rig, I got my uh, bait rig, some swivel snaps, a uh, barrel swivel, shrimp flies, some hooks. So I can, now I can be more organized. That's awesome. I'll use this for quite some time and then uh, let you know how these work out. 
But uh, meanwhile, if you are interested in a waterproof tackle box from local, I'll leave the link in the description so you guys can check it out. I like it. I know I like it. The 43600, it feels really, really durable. And uh, with this box, I think it's the same plastic, but since it's got, it's bigger, you can feel a little more flex to it. But uh, when I compared it with the uh, Bass Pro Shop uh, tackle box, um, the standard 3700, uh, this was actually a lot more sturdier than the Bass Pro. So I got my typical uh, brass and baits, uh, swing baits, and uh, I also got uh, some bait. Uh, my typical uh, herring, sex herring, I like to call it. Uh, this was caught uh, in San Francisco Bay uh, during last winter. Last winter, I was not able to get so many. I only got a few, maybe a dozen. Um, and I've been out there like three, four times. Four times, four or five times. But uh, each time I got out there, um, it wasn't really happening. But my buddy, TLA, was kind enough to donate a uh, whole bucket of uh, herring. So, and I usually, I really like to use the herring for halibut. I think it's one of the best bait for halibut. But I didn't really get a chance to go halibut fishing too much. Even though I only had a one bucket, I still had some uh, herring left. So I brought it because halibut is pretty much over, I think. Uh, I mean, you can still go out there and uh, look for halibut and you might catch one or two. But right now it's all about rockfish and lingcod. Well, not rockfish. To be clear, it's all about lingcod and uh, and the crabbing. There you go. Okay, decent fish. Good fish, good fish. Oh yeah, it's a ling. Good size, good size. Definitely keeper. Oh man. Ooh. It's death rolling all over the place right now. Feels good, feels good. Oh yeah. It's a good size lane. Oh yeah. Man, I love this. I love this link fight. And uh, especially on a light gear like this. So much more fun. Oh. That's a good size link. Yeah! <laughs> oh. So strong! So strong! Woo. That's about 30. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. First fish. New size lean. Man, you cannot complain. Right. 
Look at that. Look at that. So you might be wondering why am I lip gripping it instead of uh, a stringer? Because I'm not, I don't know if I want to keep this yet. Ugh. Let's give it a measure. Closed. We're looking at 33 inches. Uh, should I keep it? It's not that big, so I think I'm gonna keep it. So I'm gonna try something new today before. I used to beat the fish uh, with the bunker. I'm gonna see if I can brain uh, spike it. I think I got him. So, one of the viewers mentioned that uh, I should be killing the fish, dispatching the fish right away so they don't suffer. And I. Uh, completely agree um, before I had I used the uh, rod holder as a bunker and to kill the fish but since I've been on a stealth I don't use rod holders and also I don't like using knives on the kayak because I cut myself once I cut myself I have to go to the ER and get stitches so fish is not suffering anymore even the fish move around a little bit uh, that does mean fish is alive so fish is basically brain dead it's not suffering anymore so it's more humane way to dispatch a fish rather than keeping it on the stringer uh, until it dies and because they stress and uh, they actually release lactic acid and uh, the meat is not as good either. So, and from here, I'm gonna cut the gill. So, blood is pouring out. The kayak is all bloody. And I'm gonna bleed the fish. So keep the meat nice and clean and tasty. If this link out was bigger than 33, I probably wouldn't have kept it. I mean, even 33 is kind of big, but this is the first fish of the day. It gave me a good fight and uh, it should be still good to eat, right? First fish, 33. Oh, man, just took it, just hammered it. Another link. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Good size link. Good size link. Now I wish I didn't keep that one. This one feels a little smaller. Oh yeah. Oh, I tail hooked it. That's why it felt big and it just hammered it. Look. Or is it just wrapped around? Oh, it's just wrapped around. But uh, it got wrapped around the tail, so that's why it felt big. <laughs> that's funny. What did you do to yourself?
relax, buddy. Relax. I'm gonna let you go. We are early in the game, so definitely not gonna keep this guy. Cause I wanna catch more links. Alright. Go buddy. There you go. Alright, little snack time. Guess what I brought? PLA, banana, banana, big ling. Banana, big ling. <laughs> I think banana is like the best uh, snack on the water. That's the fish. Yes. Yes. I'm not sure if it's a bigger rockfish or small linka. I think it's a bigger rockfish. Oh, maybe it's a linka. I think it's a linka. Yeah, buddy. It's got some weight to it. So I think it's a keeper. Making little runs. Yeah. It's a really good size eating Linka. Around 20, between 26 to 28. And it's blue. Nice color to it. Nice color to it. There you go. Probably like 28. All right, yeah, definitely 28 incher. Man, this is a perfect eating. Should I keep it or not? I don't know. What do you guys think? I want to fish more. Man, that's like a perfect eating size right there. And it's blue. I prefer blue. I think I'm going to keep it. And then, uh... Fuck, I should have got the key from your ass. Try to catch some uh, raw fish after this. Fish up. Celine. Feels pretty good. It's got some weight to it. Keep her lean. Yeah, loud and clear. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Love it. Oh yeah. Took it. Took it. Yep. Yep. All right, another link. Yeah. 
Small keeper, barely keeper. Woo. Took off. Fish shot. Oh yeah. Man, another link. So many link today. And they're feisty too. Even the small ones were making runs. This one's got a little bit of weight to it. Definitely a keeper. Yeah. Good eating size. About 26. By this on today. Yeah, about 25, 26. I think I'm gonna call it a day. I got my link limit early. So so I was trying to catch some rockfish, good sized rockfish using the herring, but it's just the links they're biting, so I'm gonna call it a day. I don't want to keep catching links when I already have the limit, so yeah. Man, it's funny how last time I was out here, I couldn't get away from rockfish. And link bite was slow, uh, but today, I cannot get away from Linka when I'm trying to catch the rockfish. So hopefully I get to come out here a couple more times before the season ends. So as always, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Stay tuned for more and go outside and enjoy the outdoors.